talking to people who have absolutely thrilling things going on in their lives. Our last guest voice caught, our, our next guest caught our attention um, with her beautiful sound. And she's worked with like Christina Aguilera, Pharrell Williams, in fact, on season eight of The Voice. But since then, Corinne Hawthorne's star power has only rose to the top, you might say. Corinne transcends genres, blending sounds of gospel, pop, R&B, rolling out magazine publisher and owner Munson Steed says she breathes life and love into music with her soulful voice. And just like the name of her debut album, she is unstoppable. Two Grammy nominations, three number one albums under her belt, and a new acting career. Pharrell once compared her drive to that of Beyonce, and that statement could not be truer. I am thrilled. I'm standing up to have her in our studio. Tam fam, give it up for Corinne Hawthorne! <laughs> You know, listen, I'm always hesitant to compare people to other people. Yeah, right? for sure. Because I don't like that, to be mm -hmm. quite honest with you. But I think, you know, in the Beyonce reference or saying that you've worked with Pharrell or Christina Aguilera, that is a way of showing people that in this short time, mm -hmm. you are getting respect from the greats. Ah, yeah. <laughs> no, but it is. It is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Nerve-wracking. A little it's bit. It's nerve-wracking, yeah. but listen. Pharrell Williams, I mean, he has heard them all yeah. and worked with them all and to revere your voice in this way. But not just Pharrell, the audience, your new song reached number one on Christian and Gospel on <laughs> Apple Music and iTunes. Yeah. Number one. Yeah, it's crazy. That That's is insane, not gonna lie. You make it, it's like you're making it be super surreal. I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, well, okay, so I haven't thought that, about it like well, that. Look, that's when you found out. Yeah. <laughs> I was lit. That's you and your team. Yeah. You're like, that's me. Yeah, number Thumbs one. Thumbs up, number one. Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's always this ongoing conversation about gospel music sales mm, and yeah. can it break through and right. can a gospel artist, you know, sell out stadiums and things. And, and you are proof that that it can. Yikes, you are making me feel the pressure. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just crazy. It's what you said, I think, about like just being so young. And like, How I old start, are you now? I'm 26 right now. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know? But I've been singing since I was seven. I did The Voice when I was 16. You were 16 on The Voice? I was 16 years old. So I think for me, it's just like, I guess, accomplishing so much at a young age. Yeah. It just sets the bar that much higher yeah. for yourself. And I just try to like, not psych myself out and always just be like, you know what, this is my purpose, this is my journey, I'm flowing, but the pressure's there because you always just want to continue to grow and be great. Well, the pressure's there, but you won't crack because yeah. your song is Look at God. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him. Look at God. Yay. And, and I pulled up some of the lyrics of the song. You say, I'm not confused. I know what he's done. Hmm. Check the reviews. Hmm. Count every battle he's won. Yes. <laughs> That's my pen right there, girl. You wrote that. Yeah, I and did. so when you're feeling nervous, when you're feeling out of sorts, like, how did I get here? That line says, you know how you got here. Yeah. Come on, bring me back. <laughs> bring me back. <laughs> That's the one. God being the center and purpose being the thing, it's just the most important thing. I think that that's like the forefront of my mind is like, as long as I'm following the path that God has set for me, yeah. I'm good. If right. he is in control, it's going to work out yeah. no matter what. So, I, yeah. I, I also love the infusion of R&B, of soul, of yeah. contemporary. I mean, mm -hmm. down to the way you dress. I love it. You've got your cute <laughs> outfit you. on. And I have to contemporary. be a, I, mean, I have to get cute for you today. Because I think a lot, I have an 18-year-old niece, I have a 15-year-old niece, and I know that, you know, and again, we talk about faith on this show, mm -hmm. and it is not to convert anyone. What you believe is what you believe. Right. But part of me being real on this show is telling you who I really am. Yeah. And one of my, you know, nieces recently got baptized, and the other, you know, they go to church every Sunday. And, and you are the kind of example mm -hmm. that I want them to see that faith can be modern. Yeah. That it really. can have a modern flow mm -hmm. and a sound. And you have two other milestones. You recently got engaged. I did. To your fiance, Hunter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And, <laughs> and I love this. You just 
just purchased 14 acres of land That's in Louisiana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, look at that. You okay? <laughs> what are you gonna do with 14 acres? You know what? I really want some chickens and. <laughs> I'm so serious, it's crazy. I ain't never been on no farm, y'all. Um, but I want a garden. I want to be able to grow my own fruits and vegetables. Well, you have a lot of land. I have, I needed it. I've been wanting this. I've been praying actually to God about purchasing land for the past four years. Wow. So this was like a testimony and like his promises just coming into fruition. Look at as he's God. always doing, look, look at God. God. Yeah.